Hey guys, my name is and this is Carl Brown. Welcome to the series where I teach you how to build a Python Twitch bot for your Twitch channel. God damn it, I can only get that right once. <laughs> um, today we're going to be looking at reacting to members. Last time we did stuff with the database, now we're going to be adding stuff to the database and we're going to be modifying stuff in the database. Um, and we're going to be using a module called React. So we're going to scroll at the top. I'm actually going to import DB first. To make things a bit easier and we're going to import something else called react which we haven't made yet but we're going to make in this video and we also need to do what was it okay react does come first we're going to process these reacts just from here we're going to send the same stuff and uh, very much like we did in the commands module we're actually going to handle all this functionality in a different file so you need to come to lib new file save as react.py and then from there we can get down to business. Now this is quite a relatively complicated one. Um, there's going to be a lot of explaining with this one, I feel. So we will see. We will see. Um, we're going to start by importing something called um, a default dict. Oh god, if I could type from collections. Now a default dict is sort of like a dictionary object, but it has extra functionality. Um, so whereas say in the user thing, well actually let's make let's just make a an like a, a, a dictionary say for example, um, and say this say oh no this was an actual dictionary full of English words, um, so the word hi would be in it the word lol might be in it I don't know, but the word the word inusbunfuu last time I checked wasn't a word so that probably wouldn't be in this dictionary um, so uh, if this is a normal dictionary the program would crash if this is default dict um, and you tried to do like say I don't know um, equals blah 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 whatever um, it would then automatically add that as a key <laughs> um, or if you tried to do even like a plus equals one if it was an integer and you did like a plus equals one, it would then automatically add that key and then it would do the thing. So it's basically just a slightly nicer dictionary essentially. Um, uh, you'll see what I mean when we uh, actually create the thing. So we're also going to import db from our lib as well. <coughs> Apologies. Um, still got a cough. I'm recording a lot of these in one go so far. So. Uh, we're also going to need to make two uh, variables near the start of the file. So the first one is going to need welcomed for a little thing we're going to do. And we're also going to need messages, um, which is going to be a default dict. And it's going to be a default dict of int, uh, of int type. This is basically says, essentially when it makes a new key, it, if no value is given to it, it will set it as zero, pretty much. Um, so we could... Probably I've used a db dot with commit in my plan. I could probably get away without doing that actually. Yeah. So I, I make plans for all this stuff before I do it, and um, it's a little inconsistent this time. So I'm just kind of trying to work it around the inconsistencies. But we don't need to worry about that because we already have it. We already have it in the. Uh, yeah, we do have it there, so we don't need it anywhere else. Um, so we're gonna have our React process, which is gonna take our bot, our user, and message. First thing we're going to do is update records, which we're going to make in a second, and we're going to pass bot.user, we don't need, or bot and user, we don't need the message for that. Um, and then we're going to welcome uh, new members to the stream. If they sent a message and it's the if the bot detects it's the first one they've sent, we're going to say, oh, hi, how are you doing? Um, so to check that, we need to say, if user not in welcomed, uh, welcome bot user. Uh, We'll, we'll see if a dictionary is hashable, I suppose. We might need to use the user ID for that, but uh, actually it might be better. It's probably better just to use the ID straight up, actually, to be completely honest with you. Um, and just store the IDs. Uh, it'll probably use less memory anyway. Um, and then we're going to say, we're going to have like uh, something, say, by the user as well. So if they send by in the message uh, and then say goodbye you could have um, any number of things here so uh, elif buy in message or elif I mean, see in message or whatever we're just going to use buy for the basic tutorial system pretty much um, 
And then we're also going to have uh, a, a little system that rewards, or not rewards, but kind of uh, lets users know they've been active. So if they've sent a certain amount of messages, say 25, uh, so like every 25 messages they send, for example, the bot will be like, oh, uh, you've been pretty active, you sent this number of messages, keep up the good work, that sort of thing. Um, so we would ordinarily want to do if user ID is not and then your ID. You can get this from the bot itself. Uh, I don't think there's a way of getting it from Twitch really. Uh, you would ordinarily want to do that. Um, uh, this is my Twitch ID, so basically I'll be saying that I wouldn't want the bot to do it for me personally. Like, So if I was to send a link or something I wouldn't want it to go like, oh hey the person who's streaming you've been very active in this um, because that's going to obviously hinder what I can show you. We're going to comment that out, but you, I mean, you can have it in if you want. Um, that to you. And then we're going to have check activity, bot user. So now we actually need to write all these functions pretty much. Um, so def update records and then, oops, bot user. Um, and then so we need to add the user to the users table if they're not in it already. So to do that, we're going to do db to execute insert or ignore into. So what that does is, well insert or ignore into, uh, the or ignore bit basically says uh, if they're already in the database then just don't do this. Um, it's fairly simple really. And then we're just going to insert the user ID because everything else is a default value, we don't need to specify it. Um, so we can just add the user ID and now add everything to do with the user ID. We also need to update the users uh, and then set the messages sent equals messages sent plus one. Uh, that's just something you can do in SQL. And then you do where user ID equals that and then user ID. If you don't do this last bit, it will update it for everyone which is something you don't want to do. So basically what this will do is it will insert the user into the database if, if they're not in there already. Uh, if they are in there already it will just ignore it. And then it will continue forward and uh, increase the number of messages they have sent by one. Um, just regardless of whether they're in it or not pretty much. Just uh, that way of, do, of doing it works. And then, and then this stores a total amount of messages they've sent in the channel over time. Um, so now we're going to have our welcome function. And the reason we pass bot everywhere is so we can access this send message function pretty much. It is extraordinarily useful to have and um, just makes it a lot easier. So we can say welcome to the stream user name, for example, and that's a pretty um, simple one. We can now actually, as well, uh, append the user ID to welcomed here. Uh, we don't need to set it as global because we're performing a function on existing objects, not reinstantiating it. Um, that will just add the user ID to welcome. So when this is checked next time to send a message, they thought, oh, it's, this person has been welcomed. We don't need to welcome them again. Um, so that's basically a way of just send, of, of stopping the bot from going, welcome to the stream every single time they send a message, which would be really bad. Um, and then uh, say goodbye bot.user, or not bot.user, but bot and user. And then the same sort of thing, really. Uh, have a see you later user uh, name. You could even have like some sort of Easter egg, so if their username happened to be alligator, or have alligator in it, you could say see you later alligator, and then it will work, but we're not going to do that. <laughs> um, I really do want to do that for a bot though, I love easter eggs. And then uh, we're going to remove the ID of the user from welcome, so if they do come back the bot will welcome them again. Uh, if you don't want to do that just don't include that line. Um, and then this check activity thing, uh, I perhaps didn't explain it super well before, uh, hopefully this will make sense. So we are actually going to need to global messages for this one. Yes I know it's a global variable, they do come in useful sometimes. Okay. And then um, messages. Do we actually need to global messages? Thinking about it. 
No, I don't think we do. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see, <laughs> we'll see if we can get away without it. <coughs> um, so as you see here, this is where the default did comes into it. So instead of having like this huge if user ID messages dot keys do this and then do this otherwise or whatever, all we have is this line and this line will automatically because it's default dict, it will um it will say oh if it's not in the thing add it and then add one to that value. So it will it will it will create a key with the thing, set the value to zero and then it will it will do the operation there. Well I'm actually pointed at the screen there, what a genius. Here and then it'll add one and it will set that to one. So that basically just does everything in one line. That's why I like default dicks and why they are so useful and why everyone should use them. Um, so we're going to use another Morris operator here. Uh, so if count, so we're going to send count equals actually to the amount of stuff. So just that key, so just the amount of message they sent. And then uh, a modulo, uh, which returns the remainder. And then you want to take a value. I'm going to put three um, in here just for testing purposes. You probably want to put something more like 25 or maybe even 100. You don't really want to put three in practice. We're just doing it so I can actually show you what it does without having to send 25 messages to the chat every single time. Uh, so we're just going to send a message in the case. Uh, thanks for being active. Oops, it is being active. God damn it, I can't type. Why can I never type when I'm doing these videos? I swear to God. I, I always seem to like really, really screw up. Um, oh my God, this, this is a huge message. I'm just going to copy and paste the rest of this. Um, so where have I copied it from? I copied it from there. There we go. Uh, so thanks for being active in chat username. You've sent count, so we're actually taking uh, this number so we're not having to uh, re-reference this. Um, and then we've got a, a, a format string for thousand separators. These base, uh, these two characters here inside curly braces and f string like this, essentially just mean thousand separators. Um, messages and then keep it up, and then we can get rid of this one as well because that's going to break it otherwise. Uh, okay, cool. And then that's pretty much it actually. That's all we need to do, uh, I believe. I th we added yeah, so it should be fine to go. Nope, cannot import. Default. Have I spelled default wrong? I have, and <laughs> I'm amazing. Uh, there's always one, and I've always made one stupid error. I spelled it wrong twice. How do I do that? I probably use the autocorrect to be honest, or the autocomplete. Uh, yeah, so that's running fine. So if we were to go, I oh know, hello, but we'll now go welcome to the stream super. If we were to go hello again, it wouldn't do it. If we said bye. It would um, <laughs> it would it would uh, say see you later. It would also um, uh, say oh you sent three messages and stuff fantastic. And then we can go back and then hello again. So you have the thing and then yee and then <laughs> just yee. There we go. It's a six message. So every three messages it will send it. Um, and then yeah, pretty much. I'm pretty sure that was all we actually wanted to do. Um, I'm going to make kind of like, uh, episode 5 is going to be sort of like an episode 4B, almost. I'm keeping it separate because I'm not entirely sure about the content of the next thing. It should work, but I can't test it. It's the one part of this I can't test, which is why it's a separate video and not in this one. Uh, but it's about reacting to cheers, because cheers are um, text-based. So I think you do just like, cheer 100, and that counts. And, and that will send 100 bits from your account. Um, I can't test it, one, because I don't have any bits, and two, because my own chat obviously doesn't, isn't, I don't, I don't have, I don't, not affiliated it or anything, so. Yeah, which is why I can't test it, but the logic should work, but that's why it's in a separate episode. So we're going to be doing that next time. Uh, but if you, if you like this video, say hello down below if you have any questions. Leave them down below as well, or you can join the Discord server in the description to get better and faster help, most probably, because um, YouTube notifications suck. Speaking of YouTube notifications sucking, uh, if you enjoyed the series so far, then consider subscribing and hitting the bell so you know when the next video goes live. And the next video will be um, an extension on this, but reacting to cheers.
pretty much, um, or what should be the correct logic for doing it, because um, obviously it's a bit of an arse to test. Um, so yeah, I'll see you later.